Hello guys, uh, I am going to show you tutorial on Mitsubishi PLC. So here you have seen Mitsubishi PLC and model is FX1 and 14 MR. Here FX1 and represent the PLC series, PLC type, and 14 here represent the total IOs that PLC contains. 14 IOs here represent 6, 8 inputs and 6 outputs. So here you are seeing uh, FX1 and 14 MR model and this is output and these are here inputs. These are all inputs x0 first input, x1 second input and up to x7. And here these are all outputs, 6 outputs. And M represent main unit, it means that uh, it has inbuilt integrated power supply, CPU inputs, outputs. And R represent output type. R means relay output and T means transistor output. Now Mitsubishi PLC is a Japanese company PLC and Mitsubishi PLC has basically two types and first one compact type and second one modular. In compact type we have FX3U, FX2N, FX1N and FX1S. In modular type PLC we have Q series PLC and this is showing Q series PLC pick and this is pick of compact type PLC you know uh, in compact type PLC it consists of inbuilt power supply CPU and input outputs but in what's the difference between model PLC in model PLC there are separate slots for power supply CPU and input output card but in compact type PLC all these are in integrated form so here you are seeing definition, compact type PLC, this type of PLC had integrated power supply, CPU and input output. In modular PLC, this type of PLC has separate slots for power supply, CPU and input outputs. To program uh, Mitsubishi PLC, we have cable and that cable name is SC09. This cable is used to program Mitsubishi PLC FX1. And the software that we use programming software for Mitsubishi PLC and this one is GH developer version 8.0 so this is software now how to use addressing in Mitsubishi PLC for input addressing we have inputs in the format x0 first input x1 second input x2 third input for output we have syntax y y0 first input first output y1 second output y2 third output and for memory it is sent by m and now if you want to program Mitsubishi PLC and while using timer then the syntax for timer is t0 space k100 here t0 space k100 suppose you want to provide 10 second delay then t0 space k100 here t0 represent its a timer number it can be from T0 to T255 and here K100 represent preset value suppose we are going to provide 5 second delay then it will be K50 suppose you want 12 second delay then it will be K120 here K represent constant value so friends I am going to show you tutorial on software how to program PLC so we have software GX developer so open it now here go to project click on new project and here PLC series select which PLC series we have as I told you that we have two types Q series and FX series FX CPU and then PLC types so many PLC types are available so here which hardware which PLC type you have you select that one so FX1N program type it is in ladder and then click on OK so uh, let's start with simple input and output programming so first connect input and a contact here you are seeing shortcut F5 you can use also so for input we know that X0 is a format addressing so X0 and now for output we have addressing syntax y0 first output 
so we have connected an output with an input x0 and now after that the second step is to convert program here is shortcut f4 you can use this convert and then now we have we don't have hardware suppose you don't have hardware and you need to check your program by the header help of simulator then here you are seeing simulator switch on this simulator and here you are seeing the program is downloading to the PLC now the last step is to test your program so right click and then go to device test and here type the address x0 you want to switch on and here force on and force off so first force on switch and then you are seeing here the output goes on and if you press force off then the output goes off so this is basically program of simple input and outputs now next program uh, we have uh, we will use timer so here you are seeing this is monitor mode this is called monitor mode and this is called write mode suppose you want to change program you want to edit your program then you have to go write mode and now right click insert line for new and here we will use timer so double click here and symbol here you select this coil and now the syntax is for timer t0 space k 100 and now the timer bit we can use t0 and with the help of this timer bit we are going to connect an output y0 now the same procedure convert this program and then go to online here you are seeing right to plc click on this select all execute execute right to plc else again click on yes and the program is going to download into the plc Okay, yes, we will close and here click on monitor mode, then right click device test and type the address of input x0 and force on. So you are seeing the timer is running. And the output is right now off, but after 10 second delay, the output will be on with the help of this timer bit. So you are seeing the output gets on, and when the time is finished, so here you are seeing that how we can use timer in this Mitsubishi PLC program. So thanks, guys.